no matter what religion says or holy men or women say, we don't know why we're here. Nobody knows why we're here. But just like if you looked at a mosaic, you could figure out some of the meaning of the mosaic by seeing a portion of it. You can begin to figure out what the mosaic is saying and what it means. I'm Dr. Clarence Trausch. I'm a psychologist, educator, and mystic. What else would you like to know? <laughs> I'm going to push you to that. Ready? I looked. <laughs> it got me that time. <laughs> Did it get you? Yeah. An uncle of mine always used to talk about him and say that he was his guru. People don't understand the guru-disciple relationship and the importance of a spiritual instructor. He does not show any of the signs of aging. He can run circles around me. He's also living in energetically a, a much more pure and refined state that translates right into the flesh. He has got strength that's beyond those years. He, he pays a lot of attention through self-discipline. A state of meditation reduces the need for oxygen by a cubic centimeter significantly more profoundly than sleep or any other state so that if breathing happens in meditation in deep meditation for those who are adepts the breathing is very very light and infrequent in my case it stops for minutes at a time, sometimes longer. The problem with people meditating right is that it's hard to do because it's in the waking state and the images of life and the day are always attempting to disturb the mind. Ego is still functioning. Now my life is about students, teaching students. I have what I want now in terms of understanding many, many years, decades of study and meditation. I have what I want, and now I spend my time that I have available that I don't spend on myself in meditation and study and writing on my students. I grew up in Illinois in the Midwest on several farms. By the time I was 10 years old, I was asking big questions about life. Why? Why are we here? What are we doing here? What's it about? So I started to study the Bible myself. And by the time I was 15, I'd read a, a lot of it. And I was confused because of the angry God that it presented. And the uh, confusion led me to decide I needed to go study more about this. Growing up in Illinois, from what I realize as the oldest of five, he, he did have a father who had an alcohol problem and a mother who had a lot of re religiosity to her and a lot of um, a lot of opinions about how his life should be. At the same time, I know he found he had mystical experiences early on and, and that gave him the sense of, well, let's go to be a monk. If you're really looking to find what's in your own way, he can point it out as fast as you're ready to hear it. <laughs> it is said the teacher appears when the student is ready. This is a whole new way of looking at life. If they're really meant for it, then they will. They'll find it. They'll find it's it. There. Like they'll seek it out. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. I started getting sick. Unbelievably intense pain. And he came in with abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting. And so the years have gone by, and this situation has been occurring, you know, every six weeks, absolutely ruining my life. Every time he went to the emergency room, it was a $10,000 tab because every time they will do a CAT scan, they will do x-rays, they will treat him. So I just decided to do primarily what the doctors just give you, say to you anyway, and that is um, live with it. When David came to see me at least two years ago, he had been referred by Dr. Sandu, and nothing's been successful except my experience with Clarence. You understand, just like prayer, belief, becomes self-fulfilling prophecy. If you can't say, I'm going to change, 
you're not. Gosh, I can't believe there's only one guy in the world that could help. I, it's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to believe. Through the years, have dealt, developed the concept of the mind-body connection and the way it, it all works together. And the things that he talks about that are confusing to the average person are the most important. I never allowed myself to believe that about myself. I believe it was a physical ailment. Clarence and I will talk about it. Maybe there's something we can do there too. Thyroid? Yeah. No. Thyroid, you have to take the medication. Yeah. I don't think Clarence yeah. can do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He fixed everything else. Even people that don't get it will hear it and it can resonate with them on some level that they don't understand yet, but it'll still influence them in some way. If you want to see what is beyond what our senses know and can pick up in this dimension, and you are driven to better yourself, to, to know what it's all about, <laughs> the path is a commitment you make to yourself to get there. Even with physics and biology, we can, we can see some of the mosaic. We can say, hey, there's a pattern here. Something's happening. There's a consciousness that's not only growing, it's expanding. And in that completely still space, clarity reigns. It is the supreme being, so to speak. Clarity is there. Is it boring there? It's not only not boring, I can't wait to live there permanently. How are you so sure you're going to live there permanently? If I'm wrong, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs>